Keith Lucas. Hi Jane, cold and wintry out there for all of us, especially so for parts of northern Scotland. In fact, in Loch Lothgarnock in Highland, we've got 32 centimetres of snow already and there's more of it to come. The Met Office have issued an amber warning that's valid from three o'clock this afternoon right through to midnight for northern Scotland. Could be about 10 to 15 centimetres of snow falling there on top of what is already lying. But if you haven't got the snow, you've certainly got the cold. So next few days are staying pretty chilly wherever you are and certainly a risk of some icy stretches and for some of us, wintry showers too. But the temperatures have been up and down haven't they so far this winter certainly for the first few weeks of January we were sat in that mild air so we had the jet stream well to the north of the UK there we were in the the mild air but at the moment the jet stream has been diving further south and that's what's allowed this cold arctic air to spill in from the north and crossing our shores and that's certainly sticking around certainly for the next couple of days rest of this afternoon we've got those cold northerly winds with us bringing more snow to parts of northern and western Scotland also parts of northern Ireland into Wales and northwest England seeing the odd flurry some sunshine elsewhere but temperatures only about two to five degrees so after that bitterly cold start today it's not warming up in a hurry and still some icy stretches around out there but this is where we've got that amber warning in force across parts of Highland into Grampian to three o'clock in the afternoon until midnight is where we're going to see the heaviest of the snow. So 10 to 15 centimetres could be quite disruptive. But for all the rest of the UK, then still some wintry flurries. Northern Ireland into Wales, and northwest England, icy stretches down towards the southwest as well. And gales developing through tonight for parts of eastern Scotland and northeast England. Temperatures down to about minus four degrees, not quite as cold as it was last night, but still certainly low enough for icy stretches almost anywhere. So a cold start to Wednesday, particularly windy conditions developing around the east coast with some wintry flurries there and also further west, a bit of rain, sleet and hill snow for Northern Ireland, Wales too, some icy stretches around. Bit of sunshine for many central and southern areas though through the day on Wednesday. Temperatures perhaps up a little bit on what we've got today between about four to seven degrees tomorrow. But when you add on the wind chill, especially if you're exposed to that brisk breeze around these North Sea coasts, it will feel closer to freezing, perhaps even sub-zero for some of us. So that cold weather holds on into Thursday and Friday too, looking largely dry, so fewer wintry flurries around. As we head on into the weekend, gradually we'll start to see something a little bit milder, just working its way in from the northwest. But it's the southeast of the UK that holds on to the colder and the drier conditions for longest into next week. Jane.